Uh, Julian, um, Northampton this weekend, and I just wonder, first of all, you've um, you know you've been around the block a bit, for want of a better term. You'll have gone through periods where you've lost games that perhaps you shouldn't lost, and lost close games. And and how does this blip in results com- compare to other blips you've had in your time, either here or at Leicester or, or in Australia? Yeah, look, you, you, sometimes you have these throughout the season. I've had it with different teams and in, in, in different environments. These happen every now and again, but I wouldn't say it's a, a blip from our point of view. What we've been doing really well has been training really hard. Uh, we weren't too far off um, on the weekend against Wasp, and we showed a lot of fight there, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good uh, aspects to our game. It was just, I suppose, our finishing that sort of let us down towards the towards the back end of that game and throughout the match. Um, but again, we're willing to fight. We've got a home game this weekend against Northampton, which again, we'll be putting our front foot forward and making sure that we get back to, to winning ways. Do you feel that you've got uh, perhaps something to prove to the Sandy Park crowd here after the last home game? Yeah, well, obviously we pride ourselves on scoring tries and uh, playing an entertaining brand of rugby. And uh, again, when, when we do play at Sandy Park, we, again, we, we pride ourselves on putting on good performance. And again, that Worcester game was probably below par from where we expect uh, or where our standards are. Um, it's about sort of rectifying those wrongs and making sure that we put in a very good performance this weekend. What do you guys say to yourselves, or what have you been saying this week in the build-up to the Northampton game to kind of ensure that you get back to winning ways? I think it's just focusing more so on ourselves and just making sure we get our individual roles right um, and not worrying about someone else's role. It's, it's about just How staying in the ball. Because I guess when you, when if you, you know, and I, I'm not in your change room, but yeah, like, yeah. say, you, say you're in there and somebody makes a mistake or somebody doesn't do the run that you're meant to do or doesn't cover the player that they were meant to cover, it would be quite easy to point the finger and say, you should have done that or mm. you should have done that. How, how easy or difficult is it then to just say, let's just focus on yourself and kind of that way? I mean, we go through a lot of things throughout the training week, so most of the guys should know their roles. And look, mistakes happen mm. throughout a match, they're bound to happen. So it's just a matter of sort of forgetting about what just happened and getting on with the next job, so to speak. So it's sometimes it's easy. For some players, it's easy. For some others, it's, it's not. But sometimes you almost got to forget about the play that just unfolded or what happened and just get on with the next bit. You look at Northampton, and um, they're probably not going to get relegated. They're looking at the league table they're going to struggle to make the top four they'll have they're having a new head coach that's going to come in soon and will no doubt be looking at the squad is that a, a difficult kind of prospect to, to face when you're facing a side who are kind of trying to impress somebody that they don't really know and this will be a great game for them to set a marker down if they could do something yeah look there's a lot of disruption in that in their camp um Northampton are a proud team uh, I think from from watching their their recent games, they're they're a team that are trying to work hard, so they impress the the new coaches and the new management that are there. Mm-hmm. So they'll be brimming for the game. They'll be there wanting to to fight and even fight for their positions and fight for their future um, in the current squad. So it's a lot of lot of um, lot of emphasis for those boys to put in a decent performance. We just got to make sure that we better that and make sure that we individually be our man throughout the match mm. and, and finally from, from the, the homework that you guys have been doing where are the major threats do you feel going to come from what things have you got to try and nullify well Northampton have always been a, a set piece uh, focused side um, so they will, they will, they'll look to try and attack us in those sort of areas obviously they'll try and counteract our, our threat in terms of our set piece and that sort of thing so it'll be a good little battle there um, but they're predominantly a same way team um, they'll try and attack you and try and outwork you Um, It's a matter of just seeing who's ready for the fight and see how we go. Fantastic.